everybody, this is Jean. Today is the 21st of December and I thought that would be a good day to do the Art and Soul Studio Challenge for December, which is Winter Solstice. I'm doing this fairly early in the morning and I'm using a journal that I don't usually show, which is my personal journal. Not everything in it is personal, but it is, but it is a journal that I use when I want to work something out that's going on in my life. Uh, winter solstice is an important day for me because it it marks the time the days start to get longer and the nights start to get shorter and that always makes me happy i want to show the darkness and the light on this page together so i start with strips of paper that are torn from a book that i use to use up my spare paint so to cover the pieces that I've stuck on, I want to use gesso, but I want to colour the gesso, so I, I'm adding to it some Prussian blue um, deco art fluid acrylic, which is a nice dark colour, uh, possibly a little bit too dark, so I add some extra gesso here and there, and cover the whole of the two pages, and then I knock that back a bit by using a baby wipe to wipe some of it off. I want some of that shape of the pieces that I've stuck on to show through. When I've done that, I want to introduce some more colour and so I use um, a purple gelato, I think it's called grape, and I think this is the metallic version. And I just apply it, then rub it in with my fingers, and then decide that's too uneven, it's not really the effect that I want. So I then use water to um, spread the colour out on the page. I then do the same thing with a green gelato, I can't remember what the colour of it is. Here I'm using a Stabilo Oil pencil to outline the shapes of the paper pieces and then I use um, a baby wipe just to wet my finger and blend it in. I like this technique, I've used it in several pages and it just gives a bit of texture to the background. I then want to use this sunburst type stencil with um, some white gesso, but at the centre of it is, I don't know, I never have much success with the centre of this stencil, so I'm putting on a circle as a mask, and then putting the stencil on over the top, and then using white gesso. Uh, here I'm doing some journaling inside the circle, and the journaling is about looking forward to Midsummer's Light, but trying to stay in the present and enjoy winter's own particular joys. Yeah, after I'd done that then I added some white splatters. This is my quote. I wrote this in the days when I used to do a bit of calligraphy. This is a piece that I did write out for um, a Christmas card so I'm recycling it, cutting it up, and it says Mis Midwinter's Longest Night holds the promise of Midsummer Light. I'm just outlining the quote in a white, uh, it's a white Signo Unibor pen. Um, here I'm going around the outside making a border just using white gesso in a sort of uneven way that makes it look a bit like snow. I 
And then I wasn't very happy with that circle shape, so I'm using a white gelato here to make a bit of a halo around that that circular shape which is supposed to represent midsummer light. And so I finished my winter solstice page. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I wish you a happy winter solstice, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year and all those things and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.